Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert. This is five things to know about Pro Tools. It's not the five things, it's just five things. But if you don't know any of these, then your Pro Tools experience will be better knowing them. The first one is P and semicolon, how to move up and down tracks using keystrokes. For this to work, you have to have this switched on over here and for it to change the track you've got selected as well as where the edit selection is, so that's these bits as well as these bits, then you need to have this switched on, link track and edit selection. So that's thing number one. Thing number two, using option with shift. Option does to all. That's pretty universal across lots of things. Option shift is due to selected. It's incredibly useful. I use it way more than option on its own. So for example, if here I wanted to change the output assignment of these four kick drum tracks, if I select them like this and I hit option and shift, I can change them all together in one. And that's how that works. This works for loads of things. So for example, if I wanted to create uh, an insert, an EQ across these four tracks, that's how I do it, and it only does it to the selected tracks. They don't have to be contiguous. If I command click over here and I do the same thing again and I create, let's say, a pro compressor across those five tracks, I'll get it just on those ones that are selected again. So that is using option and shift for do to selected. Super, super useful. Okay, so number three is in your I.O. setup, if your session is being a pain and you just want it to be normal as quickly as possible, it's best to fix specifically what's wrong. But if you just want to get back to a starting point, hit option and hit default down here, and it'll reset your I.O. appropriate to the hardware that you're using. So stuff will work and noise will come out your speakers. Okay, number four, let's head over to the edit window. And this is Zoom Toggle. Zoom Toggle's awesome. So what it is, is if you use the Select tool, you can make a selection. If you want to take a closer look at the thing you've just selected, just hit E. And you'll get this, or you can get something like this. E is the shortcut for this button here, which is Zoom Toggle. Click there, and we're back again. This is the toggle element of it. I've got it set up so that when you toggle, it fills the screen. That happens here in Preferences. And in the editing tab, down here, change track height for zoom toggle to fit to window, and you'll get that behavior. Zoom toggle, super, super useful. If you want to quickly view your automation playlist, the way to do it is to hold Command and Control on a Mac, or Control and Start on a PC, and just click on the parameter you want to display. So for example, if I want to see volume automation, Command and Control, click on volume, there it is. If I want to see pan automation, click on pan. If I want to see some plugin automation here, I don't have any automation set up for this rather wonderful seventh heaven, but if I come over here and I hold all three modifiers and enable everything for automation, I'm going to be in a right old state if I try to view it manually. If I try to come over here and have a look at this, there's way too much of it, but all I need to do is go to the plugin window. And if I want to automate my decay time, or view that automation, hold command and control, and click on it. There it is. If I want to see the mix, there it is. If I want to see the reflections level, there it is. If you want to get back to your waveform display or your top level display, all you have to do is just hold command and control and click the track name. In this case, that's not very useful, but over here, if we view the volume automation on this, on this track here, if I want to get back to my waveform display, I just hold command and control and click. So that's five things that are incredibly useful in Pro Tools. For a reminder of what they were, here's a list.